we're going to continue processing this image. We've applied two processes to this preview, a curves transformation to increase the overall contrast, and then a color saturation process to increase the color intensity of all the pixels equally. Now, instead of increasing the color saturation equally across the whole image, we're going to do it only in the areas where it's most needed. This way, we won't oversaturate the areas that are already very saturated. We start by creating another preview, which is an exact copy of the one we already have. We'll copy the zoom level, too. By doing this, we can compare the effects of the two processes with the original image. We can do this with the keyboard, too, without having to open History Explorer and double-click on each state. But not only that, this new preview means that we can also compare two different processing sequences. We'll start by applying the curves again. Let's accumulate the process, and now we're going to increase the color saturation again, but this time in the S channel. The pixels with the lowest color saturation are in this part of the graph, and the ones with the highest saturation are here. We can increase the color saturation of the least saturated pixels only, without altering the saturation in the areas where we don't really need to increase it. Let's apply this curve. And now we can compare the two previews, again using the keyboard. As you can see, with this curve, we haven't oversaturated this part on the right, but we have increased the color saturation equally in the area with the nebulas. We can also zoom in and compare the two previews, duplicating the zoom and pan. Now let's increase the color saturation a little more with Curves Transformation and compare the previews again. Now the result is more balanced. If we open History Explorer, we can see that we've applied two Curves Transformation processes to this preview, and a Curves Transformation and a Color Saturation process to the other one. We can save this now, or we can apply it to the main view if we prefer it to the other processing sequence. If we go back to the initial state now, we'll still have the two previews with their different processing sequences. Now we're going to enhance the contrast of the small-scale structures using MLT. We'll increase the bias This is quite simple, but it has two side effects. First, it oversaturates the stars. And second, it tends to create dark halos around the stars. We can use a star mask to prevent these side effects. We have one here. Let's apply it, and apply the same process with the star mask inverted so that it affects all of the image except the stars and the areas around them. If we show the mask, we can see that it won't only protect the stars, but the areas around them too. Here we can see that the mask is covering the dark halos. Let's copy the pan and zoom levels, 
and apply the same process through the mask. Now, we've enhanced the nebula, but we haven't oversaturated the stars or created any dark halos. Obviously, these stars need some more contrast. We can achieve this by storing the process and inverting the mask again to process the stars only. Let's increase the contrast slightly in the smallest scale structures only. Now the halos aren't noticeable and the stars aren't oversaturated. Let's compare these two processes with the previous one. The main difference is the saturation of the brightest stars. When we use a mask, it's also recorded in History Explorer in the Mask column. When the mask is inverted, a wavy dash appears before the identifier of the image used as the mask. If the mask isn't inverted, the identifier appears without the wavy dash. We can also create a process container from here, and the masks will be saved in it. There are a couple of things we need to think about when we're working with masks like this. Here, we've applied a mask with this identifier. It's important to keep on top of things so that we can be sure that when we apply this container, the mask has the right identifier. We also need to be sure that the mask is in the same state as it was when we applied the process container previously. If we apply some processes to the mask, like this histogram transformation and a convolution, The mask still has the same name. But if we apply this process container to another preview or to the main view, the process will be applied with the mask's current state. We must leave our masks in the state they were in when we applied the process to the target image. Now that we've defined the two processes, we can apply them to the main view. Now we have the image with the enhanced contrast, thanks to these two processes with the two masks, and the two processes have been applied in a single step using the process container. So the image has three states, the initial state, the state with the enhanced contrast and color saturation, and the state with the enhanced structures. We can also edit process containers. For example, Process 3 contains the two curves adjustments that we like. We can add the other two processes to this container. To do this, open the image's History Explorer and click and drag the two processes to the container. Note that the masks are copied over too. We can change the order of the processes. or delete a process if we don't want it anymore. We've deleted the third one, so let's put it back again. We've put it back in third position. But if we put it at the bottom, we can move it up to the right position afterward. We've made a lot of changes, and we have to save them in a new icon we're not actually modifying the Process 3 icon. We need to create a new icon. This process container will contain the complete processing sequence in one place. It's a good idea to change the icon identifiers. For example, we can call this one Entire Processing. And this one Enhance Details. and this one, Enhance Contrast.
we can delete this one because it contains the processes that we didn't like when we applied them to the image. And this icon is the first experiment we did with the image, so we can delete them, and we are left with the three containers that we do want.